guys, welcome to Sam Tech Pro. Today I have an oscilloscope which is from Unitrend Unity UTD2025, which is a 25 megahertz oscilloscope. And it's just like the other ordinary oscilloscope, as we can see the buttons on it the measure, acquire, storage, run and stop, auto, utility display, cursor, print screen, and multi purpose control and F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 for the screen controls and it has a bright uh, 7 inch LCD and LCD display is also good now here we have two channels option channel 1, channel 2 and here is the selection of these channels now this is the horizontal menu, menu you can you adjust it and vertical position you can adjust it but you can adjust vertical and horizontal of one uh, channel at a time so you can set to zero by pressing this button uh, now this is the trigger menu this is force this is help uh, what other people does not use no one use that feature now here is the on and off switch and uh, this is a kind of good handle and here is the back side of it just like on the front side there was an external trigger here is pause and fail output so here is written hazardous voltage inside do not remove the cover unless by specified personal to avoid electric shock always connect this instrument to earth ground okay so digital storage oscilloscope line 45 to 440 hertz AC 100 to 240 volts 50 watt maximum is the power and that is also the apparent power hmm that's good the software which is inside it is a uh, 2000CL or something we'll take a look now I will turn it on but before that I want you to take a look uh, here is a sticker uh, on which written warranty void if broken and this sticker has not been broken now these are the handles or we can say the stands to place it in place we have seen a lot of tutorials on internet about unpacking reviewing and they tell that these has probes oscilloscope uh, probes and the other things so I'm not gonna take a look on the components or the parts uh, that comes with it uh, also uh, the manual has quite poor English inside it so it is really hard to understand what manufacturer is trying to say so anyways forget about that I'm gonna turn it on and UTD 2000 L series okay now here channel 1 is currently on if I press channel 2 channel 2 will also turn on and from here I can adjust the position now for example from here for an example I can increase the amplitude I'm increasing the amplitude I see a little noise right now so this is the horizontal position I can position this what I'm doing actually is one channel at a time this is the thing that I was telling you also if you press run and stop everything stops right there so if you press measure it tells quite a lot of functions out there but a resolution is not good so you have to you know if, uh, to measure the waveforms it's really a very good thing but uh, not as compared to the very good oscilloscope but for the price range this is wonderful and here you can perform some math functions or you can print the screen print screen works when you plug the USB inside and then you press it it saves automatically the image captured okay alright here we have probe without wasting the time I plugged in the probe now here we see the noise in order to calibrate this noise we remove everything and then we go to the setting This is not the setting. Self-adjustment. We 
clicked on self adjustment calibrating notify please make sure there is no signal on any input and you're gonna execute that it will automatically some clickings of the relays inside I can hear it will automatically adjust the things for you then you can plug the uh, probe onto which channel you will like I'm gonna plug it inside it and here I have automatic function generator of this oscilloscope which uh, gives a square wave and for the prop compensation and 3 volts and 1 kilohertz so we will check that either this oscilloscope is telling us about 1 kilohertz and 3 volts or we can measure from the screen we will check both of these things so let's see let, let, let it do that it started again at 83 percent huh, here now currently channel 1 is on and I connected the probe I see there is nothing no mess out there so the probe is right now at 10x and I will check for my probe if it is at 10x you can take a look it is at 10x the coupling I have selected is AC because I'm going to provide a square wave which is also AC at 1 kilohertz frequency and 3 volt is the amplitude what oscilloscope tells now this is definitely precise I'm gonna connect the alligator ground clip to the ground side and then I'm gonna connect this to that now might be the thing is too low so I'm gonna press the so I'm gonna press the auto button in order to adjust it now we see the waveform the square waveform I'm gonna rise it down for the amplitude and there we have it right in the position so if I count the boxes one two three and multiply by the one volt per division then it gives three volts which is the right answer and then if I kind of take a look of the frequency okay somewhere around there there okay from here one two three four and five if I multiply 5 by 200 microseconds I get 1000 Hertz which is 1 kilohertz and frequency is also right so what oscilloscope automatically measure I press the button it gives you the value 1 kilohertz and 3.2 3.16 volts which is right which is far right that is what exactly if my camera can focus Alright, now you can see everything clearly. So that's it. I think I have told enough functions for this oscilloscope which will provide you a good start uh, to, you know, uh, use this oscilloscope. Mostly people who buy this oscilloscope has no idea how to use the oscilloscope and they buy these oscilloscopes and there's no tutorial on the internet and they do watch the other oscilloscopes tutorial so that is why I thought that I should tell about a couple of functions now here if you take a look it's a button called display from here you can change the type Y and T format and also the brightness and you can also adjust the colors of the channels individually you can also change the background colors and you can do a lot of functions with that so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video and uh, let's wait for the next video we have a lot of interesting projects going on and we have a lot of things to share with you guys so keep subscribing my channel if you haven't subscribed then please subscribe and like this video give this video a thumbs up and share this video if you like and thank you so much once again see you next time